Brothers and sisters in Islam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam told us towards the last hour, towards the last hour, there will be extreme display. The fitan, the trials and tribulations will be displayed before you. There's a very intricate word he is using here. Display meaning they will be placed in front. You don't, you're not even looking for it, but it will be in front of you. Just like the pieces of straws in a straw mat. There's so many of them and these straws are displayed to you. These fitan are displayed, displayed to you like all the individual straws in a straw mat. If you ever look at a straw mat, it's got about 10,000 straws in it, maybe 100,000 straws in it. When you look at a straw mat, you see all the straws individually, don't you? Don't you kind of see how they go along and, and they're all at once. So Rasulullah is using a metaphor here. He's saying the fitan will be so many on that day that you will look at them. You'll see them all at once in front of you and you recognize that each one is on its own. Fitna after fitna after fitna after fitna all displaying themselves in front of you. He said there will be two hearts on that day, two hearts. One type of heart will be pure and the other type of heart will be murky, stinky and ugly and dark. The pure heart will be the ones that reject these fitan and try to go against it. And the fitan, the hearts which will be dark and murky are the ones who take it and accept it and love it. Once I was driving out of my house, I went down to the next street. This street is two-way, cars coming this way, cars going that way. So if you go down in one direction, it's very hard to overtake another vehicle. As I was reaching the roundabout, there was a bus stop. I looked at the bus a few meters ahead, and right at the back of the bus is a huge picture of a woman partially naked. Now, you shouldn't be shocked because this is very normal, isn't it? Is it normal or not? Normal or abnormal? Very normal. Normal everywhere you go. You just drive, kids see it. Very normal. So I said, I better beat that bus. Because if I don't beat it, the bus is going to be right in front of me. And I can't overtake because there will be cars coming this way. And I have to look at the bus because otherwise I'll have an accident. What am I looking at? The picture. So then the bus went in front of me. How strong is the shaitan? So the bus went in front of me, driving behind this bus, where do I have to look? Trying to look away, I'm, I'm going to have an accident. Until the bus, alhamdulillah, went away. Astaghfirullah I said, Sadaqa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Truthful is he, that the fitan will be displayed before your eyes. You can't even run away from it. This day and age, the other day this brother said, Brother, I lowered my gaze to the ground and I see a magazine with another woman on it. I looked away from this at a shop right there, displayed on the window. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. You're going to read your email, bang, right in front of you, this junk mail comes up. Sometimes they display. Isn't that correct? Everywhere. Grade fives and sixes are now looking at stuff they shouldn't be looking at. By the time they're in year nine, Allahu Akbar. Gone with the wind. Pornography has become a widespread epidemic today. Rasulullah told us on before the last hour, there will be a time when people will look at this as very normal. 